Hi guys, and welcome to the newest episode of HuluCast. As always, I'm your host, Oshin. Uh, just one thing before we get into it is that I will not be streaming tomorrow. Uh, I've just had something come up, so... But I will almost definitely be streaming next week. Almost definitely. Uh, plan to do some more Fortnite and... Next week you should be able to hear the other people in the squad. I'm pretty sure I figured that out. So, that'll be nice. Um, it won't just be me. Anyway, on Monday's video, I said that I had a uh, a good, like a decent deck to show. And this is it. This is mega gross. Um, it's, it's, it's meta gross but with more stage twos. Uh, yeah, I mean, the list kind of speaks for itself, really. I mean, that's, what, eight energy, three choice man down the bottom there. With Meganium, you can heal with both max potions like normal. You can also Acerola because Meganium uh, can be used on the turn a Pokemon was put into play. So you just ace roll up a damaged Metagross and immediately quick ripening her back into it, which is pretty hype. Shuckle is there just as another way to get energy into the discard. Uh, I mean, with Meganium and the space, you may as well put a 1-0-1 one, one line of Swampert in. So, it's in. I've been playing a couple of uh, games with this list and it's like it's going pretty well. So, I'm enjoying it. It's good fun. 3 Rare Candy, because I'm not going to start opening it to 4 now. 3 Acerola. Everything else is fairly, you know, self-explanatory, all the other counts. So, yeah, I think the best way to show the deck is to just jump straight into a game. Let's just make sure it's all well and good. Yes, I do want to save it. I... I know what I'm doing. Or do I? Who knows? I guess we'll uh, wait and see. Because Cofagrigus was pretty pretty terrible. I have to make sure it's the right Metagross list. So, I mean, it's a really fun deck. I think. It's, it's, like, it's similar, obviously, to Metagross. The whole... Playstyle is very similar, by which I mean like pretty much the same. So, yeah, we'll just see what happens. I saw uh, steel, grass, and something else, and I have no idea what it could be. So, guess we'll wait and see. Let's go, Beldum. Let's just go about them. We're going second, so we'll we'll see what happens. So Registeel, interesting. I have no idea what we're up against, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens. I suppose. An Elm Elm's lecture or Ultra Ball or Lele will all be. Pretty good top decks right about now. Because that's pretty much like the best turn one is uh, Elm's Professor Elm's lecture and just, you know, get more basics out. Get set up more. Skyther. So it's Scizor. What does Scizor do? I have no idea. I suppose we'll find out though. So that'll be nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll find out eventually. So. Um, he's having a pretty decent turn one though. Gets rid of a metal frying pan. That's going to be a pain. Ooh. 
wood, it'll be fine. Now, what are we top deck? Not what we need, well, not what we would have liked. So let's, let's, we'll, mm, yeah, we will attach that there just so it's not going back into the deck. Cynthia and Hope to hit a Vulpix and an Energy. And we hit neither. Neither is great. But on the bright side, we can Elm next turn. Uh, so that's something. So can't get energy though. Let's just pass. I mean, if we top deck a rare candy, that's also pretty decent. Because we can Ultra Ball from Meganium and rare candy into Meganium. And then quick ripening herb into Metagross. And then do other things. What's, what do you do? 100 HP or less, its attacks do 80 more damage. Oh, that's fine. Still can't one hit knock KO uh, Metagross. Although Crosscut GX, not so fine. I guess we'll wait and see. Wait and see what happens. I mean, I assume he turbo arms here. Does he have any energy in the discard? No, but I mean, he'd still turbo arm. So we'll, we'll be fine. Now we get, I have no idea what we get is hasn't loaded there we go um hmm so hmm i think we do we just elm here to be tbh take beldum tb beldum mudkip vulpix take those three Mudkip, Vulpix, Beldum. It's a pain that this Beldum is going to be knocked out, but that's life. So let's uh, pass there. So he'll knock out Beldum, <clears throat> at which point we could possibly get one turn of beaconing or just nine tails for i think that's probably a better option is just to nine tails for rare candy rare candy get up metagross meganium and then cynthia try and hit another swamp try hit swampert or another beldum and a metagross so yeah i think that's the way to do it. Have we got in our discard? Cynthia and Elm. What's he looking for? Probably a, a, another Skyther, I suppose. Hmm. I guess we'll. Oh, there it is. What's this do? Oh, put a tool back in your hand. Is it? Yeah, just put a tool back in your hand. Um, like, interesting. Is that to change into metal frying pan? Because I swear to God. Yep, that's, that's, uh, that's fine. Let's go Beldum. Let's get energy, that's fantastic. So we'll go there. Nine tails for I actually shouldn't have attached the energy at all, to be fair. Because I could have just geotech systemed it back 
and like ultra balled it away and geotech systemed back because now I have to get rid of Guzma Acerola which is a pain so that was a misplay on my part but it should be fine get meganium rare candy meganium Rare candy Metagross Cynthia um, uh, Yeah, let's rescue stretcher back to Beldum. Put that into hand. Bench, Beldum, and then let's Algorithm GX and take Beldum, Metagross, Metagross, Rare Candy, Ultra Ball. Yeah. That way we'll get another two Metagross up next turn and we can Ultra Ball away two energy and just start swinging. I am happy with that. We can Ultra Ball away two energy, get Swampert and then get Swampert set up the following turn. But I think at this point we don't really need Swampert all that much unless we have to dig for Guzmas. Because, I mean, as things stand, if we take out, we have to, we're going to end up taking out Registeel. Okay, I assume he goes for the Beldum, in which case we'll get one uh, What do you call it? One Metagross set up. Although, actually, hmm, he could also Guzma up Meganium and use the GX attack, which would leave us really Yep. Okay, so we're going to be in trouble here because we need to get... This is our last rare candy. So... This is fine, though. This is fine. It's, it's, it's all good. So let's Ultra Ball... those two and get a Chikorita which is prized this is no longer fine but uh screw it we'll take you and um, I mean we can probably do it with two Two Metagross, 210, got max potions, energy in hand, ah yeah, two, two Metagross is fine, let's just, let's go all out here. Geotech system. Geotech system. So let's see, we're doing 150, which puts him down to 60, so I mean, it doesn't really matter in the end. He's going to be doing extra damage anyway, so let's Giga Hammer. It's probably fine. This is the most. Metagross that we can set up this game. Who needs more? That's what I say. We have Lele for Guzma. So we and we have like a one retreat cost 
thing, Pokemon. And Lele is obviously another one. So I think I knock out this scissor. And then Then Guzma for Lele and then I uh, try hit Guzma for another Lele. And at this point he's probably not getting another scissor set up, which is fine. What's for just your second attack? Also, 80 and 80 more is 160, 170, so he's hitting 200. So, I mean, he's not getting the knockout, which is fine. We get the knockout next turn because we have the energy in hand. We have max potion in hand. What's his attack? Not going to matter. That's fine. That's not a problem. Two ma ah, another max potion. That's pretty good. Let's retreat into Metagross. Let's max potion. Uh, Geotech system. Geotech system. And attach. Giga Hammer knockout. Giga Hammer. Whatever. And let's see. If we get the Chikorita, it doesn't matter because we don't have any more. Oh, we get the energy, which is fantastic. Although, does it. Mm, it's not really, actually, because if we. Guzma. We need him to attack Metagross so that we can Guzma and then Max Potion that Metagross to get energy in the discard. Oh, how many energy do we have in the discard? One, yeah, because we need one more energy in the discard, which is a pain, but that's fine. You'll try to get another Scizor set up, which again isn't a big deal because it's hitting 80 to start and we're going to get rid of lay days and we can take a couple of a couple of hits while it's hitting 90 we can take what three three hits which is more than fine even with choice band it's hitting 120 it's still a three hit knockout so all is well there That's fine by me. I assume he attaches more energy to the Skyther. Fair, if we top deck a choice band, we're actually in an even better position because then we don't have to worry about getting energy onto this Metagross. We can leave the max potion. We don't, to be fair, but that's fine. So we'll Lele. Yes. Guzma. Well, we got two more Guzmas left and the Lele, so that's fine. Three more energy, choice band, and two more max potion. So, yeah, I'm pretty... I'm pretty fine with this. Guzma up Lele. Send up our own Metagross. Attach to here. Max Potion. This one, obviously. And then two geotech systems. Mm, 
And the fact that we have three energy left, three in the discard. It's three left in deck, three here, and two left in the discard means that no no energy is prized. So we'll Giga Hammer knockout. Rescue Stretcher and Acerola. Rescue Stretcher. We don't need to Rescue Stretcher anything. That's fine. Interesting. Actually, I mean, that's good for us because it means that we can keep, it just means we can keep uh, attacking with only two Metagross in play. So, thanks, I suppose. But all we need to do is top deck Guzma and we, we win the game. Or Lele. Because we can just take out that other Lele on the bench. I assume he's getting a Scizor here. Yep. Which is fine again because he's hitting for what? 80, 90 with Delmise. If he has Choice Band. I mean he's got one on the bench. And... Uh, one in his discard. He's got at, at most two more choice bands somewhere, which I'm fine with, because again, as I said earlier, it's still just a tree. Oh yeah, of course you can do that either. It's still three hits, so doesn't really make a difference to us, I'm pretty sure. She's doing 120 now. 120 and 120 is 240, you know, so we leave them 10 off. And I have two max potions left, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two max potions left. And Guzma. That's so that's game because we have do we have the energy in the discard? We do. So Bosom. Send up Lele. Geotech system. Retreat into the Metagross with the Choice Band. And Giga Hammer Knockout. So, I mean, getting three Metagross set up is overrated. Let's be, let's be honest, guys. Two Metagross is all you need. Pretty happy with that win. Uh, I thought, I mean, losing the Meganium early on is always a pain, especially when Chikorita was prized. But, I mean, I probably should have checked that earlier as well. But, I mean, it's it's actually a really fun deck. Um. It's pretty good deck too, to be fair. I know a lot of people are going to be like, there's no way, but it is. There's one or two things that I am like wondering about. Like, is the shuckle worth the space? I, it, it, it's come in handy in some games. Others, not so much. So I'm unsure. I'm also unsure about the 1-1 one -one Swampert line. Because I feel as soon like you prioritize getting out uh, Metagross. So as soon as you get the Swampert up, you know, do you really need it is the question. Although I suppose it is useful if you need to dig for the that last Guzma is the only thing. Or Ace Roller, you know. So, I mean, they're the two things I'd wonder about. Uh... But so far, I like the list the way it is. I think it's really good. 
uh, and I think I'll be playing it for the foreseeable for the foreseeable future. So yeah, uh, what time are we at? Twenty five minutes. I'll leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll probably well, I might play with Mega Gross again on on Monday. We'll see. Um, just a reminder that I won't be streaming on Tuesday, but I'll be back next week for streaming. And yeah, thanks for dropping in. See you on Monday.